This lovely creature is an Asian cockroach. And what they've done here is they've put electrodes in its ganglia, in its brain, and then a transmitter on top, and it's on a big computer tracking ball. And now using a joystick, they can send this creature around the lab uh, and control whether it goes left or right, forward or backwards. They've created a kind of insect bot or bug bot. It gets worse than that, or perhaps better than that. This actually is one of uh, DARPA's very important. DARPA is the Defense Research Agency, one of their projects. These uh, Goliath beetles are wired in their wings. They have a computer chip strapped to their backs. And they can fly these creatures around the lab. They can make them go left, right. They can make them take off. They can't actually make them land. They put them about one inch above the ground, and then they shut everything off, and they go poof. But it's as close as they can get to a landing. It's not just insects. This is the rat bot, or the robo rat, by Sanjeev Talwar at SUNY Downstate. Again, it's got technology. It's got electrodes going into its left and right hemispheres. It's got a camera on top of its head. The scientists can make this creature go left, right. They have it running through mazes, controlling where it's going. They've now created an organic robot. The graduate students in Sanjeev Talwar's uh, lab said, is this ethical? We've taken away the autonomy of this animal. So we are now at the stage where we are creating creatures for our own purposes. This is a mouse created by Charles Vacanti of uh, University of Massachusetts. Um, he uh, altered this mouse so that it was genetically engineered to have skin that was less immunoreactive to human skin, put a polymer scaffolding of an ear under it, and created an ear that could then be taken off the mouse and transplanted onto a human being. Genetic engineering coupled with polymer physiotechnology coupled with xenotransplantation. This is where we are in this process. And so we need to ask ourselves some questions. For the first time in the history of this planet, we are able to directly design organisms. We can manipulate the plasms of life with unprecedented power. And it confers on us a responsibility. Is everything OK? Is it OK to manipulate and create whatever creatures we want? Do we have free reign to design animals? Do we get to go someday to pets are us and say, look, I want a dog. I'd like it to have the head of a, you know, of a dachshund, the body of a retriever, uh, maybe some pink fur, and let's make it glow in the dark. 